Got a nice blue groper. Caught my first slip of crow. School map. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Heading out for a dive today. It's been a little while since I've posted a video, but I have been diving, catching some good fish. I'll show you a few snippets of some fish that I've caught recently. Uh, but yeah, just gonna head out to a local reef today. Hopefully, get some mackerel. I don't know uh, if they're gonna be that thick or if they're even here yet, but I have heard reports and seen a couple photos that there's mackerel getting around, so i will be pretty stoked if I see one and, and land one. So I'm just anchoring up on what looks like a pretty fishy spot. A fair bit of it, uh, bait showing up on the sounder. It's only shallow, I think about seven, eight meters, but the viz doesn't look too gray. It's a little bit green as expected, but we'll get in there and have a look. This isn't too bad. I can see the bottom at about seven meters. Uh, it's just stirred up a bit. Well, that confirms that the mackerel are here. First dive, school of Spanish come in, they're only little ones. They just look a bit too small. If there's a big one, I'm gonna shoot it. Well, I think I forgot to record, but I just shot a nice blue groper. Uh, the heaps of Spanish mackerel cruising around. They're only a little though. They're, they're probably legal, but just a bit too small, I think. So these blue gropers are just so good to eat. It's, it's hard to pass them up sometimes. All right, so I've just pulled up anchor. Just gonna move spots. Those mackerel did cruise in a couple times, but they sort of just get uninterested in you after a little while. So hopefully there's some bigger mackerel cruising through uh, and yeah, and hopefully we'll get one. school of Spanish there. I just don't know how big they are. They, they just look small, but they did look like there was a bigger one at the back, but pretty spooked. So yeah, I'll do another drop there. Hopefully a big fella cruises in. So I just had that school of uh, Spanish cruising again. I decided to shoot this. It's a, um, pretty sure it's a school Mac. It's pretty small and um, it definitely looked like the biggest fish out of that whole uh, school. It's good fish nonetheless. We'll make some beautiful sashimi. Uh, but yeah, I got heaps of fish now. So I might just have a quick look for a cray and uh, head in. Oh, that is awesome. My first slipper cray. Oh, amazing. 
Oh, I'm stoked with that. Oh, that's so sick. I just caught my first slipper cray. <laughs> it was nice and deep in that cave. I had to um, had to go pretty far in. I was probably my waist into that cave. Um, but oh, that is awesome. So stoked about that. Really cool. There's a couple other crays in there, but um, I'll leave them for next time. So I've got that blue groper. Uh, school mackerel and slipper cray. Gonna have an absolute feast this afternoon. Pretty keen. Gonna head in now. I've got heaps of seafood, so don't need anything else now. Hopefully the bar's not too bad to get in. See you in there. Um, small school mackerel I got. I had to cut the tail off so it'll fit in the esky. One beautiful fillet. Gonna make some good sashimi. Another beautiful fillet. There's really not too much left uh, on that. All right, so I'm just gonna fill it up the blue groper now. You can actually see, looks like it's actually been speared before. Someone's shot it pretty high. Uh, it's ripped out and healed completely. So yeah, these fish are pretty hardy. I wonder if it's me that shot it and missed, probably. I just like to wipe all the slime off them first. The less slime you can get on the fillet, the better, because that can make it taste real fishy. Nice fillet. That's where I shot it, so there is a bit of blood in the fillet, but um, clean that up. Just one nice fillet. The other half. Beautiful fillet. Very nice, and that's our blue groper. And then the last one, I'll just grab the slipper cray. So, just gonna leave this one in the fridge, um, and then when we cook it, we're just gonna cut it in half and whack it straight on the barbie. So this is the mackerel, nice top loin. Just cut the bit of blood out and then sashimi it up. Taste testing the mackerel sashimi. Bit of soy and a little bit of wasabi. Mmm, so good. Delicious. <laughs> really delicious. <laughs> delicious. Delicious. Thinking just straight down the middle. There we have it. There's some guts and stuff there, but you can see the meat runs all the way up to the front legs, so be plenty of meat to eat there. One sec. Uh, taste testing the slipper cray. Didn't get as much meat as I thought I would, but it's pretty small. But yeah, let's see how she tastes. Beautiful. Yeah. Good. Wonderful. 
It's nice, hey? Better than normal cray. Good? Well, needs to do more. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.